our topic here is attitudes attitudes are evaluative statements either favorable or unfavorable concerning objects people or events that reflect how one feels about something as attitudes represent beliefs feelings and actions tendencies towards objects ideas or people there are mainly three main components of attitudes first cognitive the cognitive part represents the opinion belief belief segments of an attitude the second part is the affective one which represents the emotions or feelings part of an an attitude the third part is behavioral component which is an attention to behave in a certain way towards someone or something but we may face what is known as cognitive dissonance that is a state of anxiety that occurs when an individual's beliefs feelings and behaviors are inconsistent with one another when we talk about changing attitudes we have two types of change congruent change and incongruent change congruent change focuses on changing the attitude with the same direction but with le- less intent but incongruent change focuses on changing the direction itself of the attitude from negative to positive or from positive to negative there are many barriers to change your attitude or to change the attitude of your employees some of them are prayer commitments to a particular course of actions publicly expressed attitudes which make dif- uh, which make it difficult to change the attitudes low credibility insufficient information that sometimes people do not say do not see any reason as to why they should change their attitudes and degree of fear there are some tips you can follow in your organization to change your employees attitudes like to tie rewards to performance set a challenging goals define clear expectations use active listening skills and good communication skills show appre- appreciation for the efforts of the employees and show conso- concern for employees feelings Also some policies you have to follow in order to overcome the barriers with the research suggested to provide new information for your employees about the new policies about why they have to change their attitudes Also you have to resolve any inconsistencies happened because of uh, cognitive dissonance we have already discussed and you cannot neglect the influence of friends or peers in the workplace research suggested that the co-opting approach is another way in which attitudes change can be changed through while part- uh, making employees uh, participate in the decision making we come also for oral persuasion and uh, charismatic leaders uh, role and the training session You have to focus in our discussion about major job uh, attitudes like job satisfaction, job involvement and organizational commitment. You have to focus on their concepts and main dimensions and the difference between them. Job satisfaction can be defined as the general attitude that the employees has towards their jobs. a collection of attitudes about the specific facts of the job this is the person evaluation of his job and work context overall, the overall job satisfaction is achieved with the combination of two aspects intrinsic job satisfaction and extrinsic job satisfaction intrinsic job satisfaction comes from the kind of work the employees do and the extrinsic job satisfaction comes from the evaluation of conditions of work
Another work attitude you have to concentrate on is the organizational commitment. It is a psychological state that binds the individual to the organization. It is characterized mainly by three characteristics, a strong belief that the employees have about their organization's goals and values, willingness to exert considerable effort in order to achieve these goals, and a strong desire to maintain membership in the organization. The organizational commitment has three main categories, affective commitment, continuance commitment, and normative commitment. Affective commitment focuses on the attachment, loyalty, involvement, and identification with the organization. Continuous commitment focuses on the costs associated with leaving the organization. And normative commitment focuses on the moral obligation with acceptance of organizational norms. In order to help building organizational commitment in your workplace, the organization should adhere with justice and support, communicates its values, focuses on trust, organizational comprehension, and employee involvement. When we talk about job satisfaction and organizational commitment together, job satisfaction is a positive emotional state and attitude resulting from the appraisal of one's job, while organizational commitment represents the degree to which the employees identify with their organization and whether they are ready to leave it or not. Job involvement is another job attitude you have to focus on, which represents the degree to which one identifies psychologically with one's work. It is about cognitively preoccupied with, engaged in, and concerned with one's present job and the importance of this job in the person's total self-image. Employees with high level of job involvement tend to see their jobs as central to their personal character. Job involvement is more associated with identification with workers' immediate job activities while organizational commitment is more associated with workers' attachment to the organization. Job involvement concept has been approached from two different perspectives. One of them focuses on the individual differences variable, and the second focuses on specific work situation characteristics. 